Okay, here's how you get to recovery mode in case you need to do like a reinstall OS, which you can do without deleting any of your files. It won't hurt your files. Um, sometimes it fixes your problems, sometimes it doesn't. You can also get to disk utility this way if you need to run first date on it, if you want to erase it, if you want to repartition. Um, you can also get to Safari just in case you need to look up something really quick, trying to figure out how to diagnose it or anything, get to the Apple support. You can get to Time Machine, or you can, um, not Time Machine, you can get to the startup utilities. You can turn on Secure Boot, you can turn off Secure Boot, so then you can boot off of a thumb drive, um, and any of the things above. So here's how you do it. You hold down, you hit the power button really quick, and you do Command R. And it's going to turn on, you're going to see the Apple for a few seconds, and you're just going to hold it there for about five or so seconds just to make sure that it recognizes that you're holding down those buttons. And then you're gonna let go, and then you're just gonna stand here and watch, and you're gonna wait for it. And now you see how it flashed, and now it's got the loading bar. So it's gonna take a good two minutes or so, so I will come back when it is fully loaded. Actually, no, I won't, really quick. Um, if you are trying to get into recovery mode and you do this, and it does not work, it says that there's an error and you can't do it on the startup disk or something like that, you might need to do your store with the Apple II configure, configurator, configure? I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the app at the moment, but um, so if you can't get to your recovery and you already have it on secure boot and you can't boot off of a thumb drive, then you're gonna have to wipe this using the Apple configurator too. Ah, that's what it is. And that's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to either revive it or restore it that way. You're not gonna be able to get to your recovery screen if it's not gonna let you. You can try to do internet recovery. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. It depends on how bad your motherboard is fried. Well, fried is a general term, I, or a relative term. I don't actually mean it as in damaged. I just mean it as in the firmware on it. It has a problem. So you can restore from Time Machine Backup, reinstall, your Mac OS. This will reinstall whatever Mac OS you have installed on your machine. There's different um, boot commands, which I'm gonna do a whole video on. Um, there's another one that will let you boot with, or uh, reinstall what came on it, or what's the latest one. But, so then, so let's say you need to go to disk utility. You can go to disk utility, you can go, okay, here's my internal, because it says internal. You can even do view and show all devices. And these are all the partitions inside of all your hard drives. So, say this one in my internal one is having a problem, I'll just go over here, I'll hit first aid, and I'll hit run first aid. And it's gonna run first aid, and if it comes back, good, good. And from here, I can wipe it. Sometimes if you try to wipe your drive from the internal memory, it doesn't like it, it thinks that you're trying to make it commit suicide, it doesn't like that. You'll need to boot off of a thumb drive more than likely for that. Um, and since these have solid state drives instead of HDDs, you're not going to be able to secure erase them either. You just erase them and then use them for a little while afterwards until it's finally dumped all of its memory and pretty much rewritten over it. So if you don't need to do anything here, if you don't need to partition or restore or erase or anything, command Q out of it. And then you can go up here to utilities. So this is where you'd go if you need to... Um, do your thumb drive. So you'd go to like startup security utility, you enter your Mac OS password, hopefully you know it. If you don't, you're gonna have to reset password first in terminal, which I'll have a video on that. And you can see here, it's on medium security and allow booting external from removable media. You can disable that so that no one can hook up a thumb drive. You can put it on full security. Um, I could go into details on that, but I'm trying to do a quick and dirty video here for you guys. And I know that you guys are probably in a hurry trying to fix your Mac and I don't wanna take all your time. So, so then you do that. You turn that on like exactly how I had it. You allowed the bootable media. So then you can do your thumb drive. So you can erase it. You can wipe. I mean, you can wipe it. You can erase it. You can uh, reinstall. You can put whatever OS you want on it. The Apple has a whole list on what it will allow on what computers and what it won't. But that's how you get into into this. That's how you get into um, recovery on your laptop. That's an Intel.